We're interested in wave functions because they're additive. And what we're going to find in the next webcast is the way that we can describe bonding is by orbital interactions. And so the key word to take note of is this idea of orbital interactions. Because when two orbitals come together, they describe the possibility of chemical bonding. Orbitals are additive, whereas electron densities are not. And, a sim and while I don't want to dwell on this point in great detail, I will simply make the point that when we can, when, that we can add wave functions, but, and it makes a lot of sense because they have regions that are negative and positive, but adding electron density is, um, is really not a, a very uh, valuable thing. In other words, this may, may be a little obscure, but essentially um, I think you can understand that the order that we do the mathematical operations makes a big difference. If we were to add and then square, that that's going to give us a, a different answer if we were to, say, just add electron densities by adding the squares of two, say, uh, atomic orbitals together. You can clearly see from my simple example that the order of that mathematical, those mathematical operations matter. And what we really care about is to add those wave functions together. And that's the process of linear combination of atomic orbitals that we'll get to in the next webcast.